So your maiden NHL voyage comes on the road against an unbelievably fast, skilled team. Just what's your impression of this takeaway? Yeah, I mean, it was honestly my first real test of NHL hockey. Obviously, preseasons, still have a lot of young prospects. So to finally get out there against, you know, a top-end team like them. Um, obviously, they had unreal playoffs last year. And, um, you know, it was a really good test for us, but I loved our, you know, resiliency through the game. Um, you know, we need to stay a little more disciplined, but just the way we bounced back during that third period and stayed with it, it shows you what type of team we have. Logan, when you think about today, 5, 10, 15 years from now, what will you remember? Yeah, I mean, I think just the whole experience, first stepping on the ice, on um, the solo lap, and having my family here, and obviously, um, you know, the first NHL point is pretty special to get that out of the way, and obviously the most important thing is the team win, and, um, you know, the guys welcome me in so nice, and for us to, you know, get that win, especially against a New Jersey team like that, it's, it's pretty special. Not just one point, but two assists on the day, too. What does that mean to you to come out and be able to put two points in your first NHL game? Yeah, I mean, obviously, coming in, you want to have a good start. Um, you know, I try not to put too much pressure on myself, but, you know, like I've been saying, I've always had high expectations for myself. You know, I want to produce at a high rate. I want to help this team win games, and, um, you know, that's my goal the, the whole year, and um, that's just one step in the right direction. Were you able to drink in the big picture everything, or were you just too laser-focused? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard um, not to think about all the things going on, but, um, you know, honestly, I thought I did a pretty good job of, you know, staying focused, um, not paying attention too much on the outside noise, and just honestly trying to enjoy it, have fun, and um, help the team win, and, you know, that's kind of what happened tonight. Yeah, I mean, right when I first stepped on the ice, um, no bucket, you're a little bit nervous. You, you don't want to fall, you don't want to, you know, whiff on a puck like that, but I think once you get that first shift over with, um, you kind of settle in a little bit, and um, the nerves kind of go away, and it's just another hockey game, but, um, yeah, I thought I managed it pretty well, and it was super fun game. Yeah, like I've been saying, I think it shows what type of team we have. Obviously, you know, we took some penalties, um, made a few five on threes, and we stayed with it. Obviously, you know, we don't want to take that many penalties. Um, it's hard to win games when you're in the box all the time, but, um, you know, it's a learning lesson for us and stay out of the box. But, you know, like I said, it shows what type of team we have to stay with it and eventually get that win. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Logan. I got to talk about your game because it was all areas. It was back pressure. It was working along the walls. Puck retrieval was on the power play. You just had everything going tonight. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think everyone was excited to play tonight. It's uh, it's been a long time, a lot of excitement in the room. Uh, got some new players, and you know, we want to take that next step. So, I thought a lot of guys had a lot really good games. Um, you know, I felt good. I thought familiarity with my line mates is obviously huge, and. You know, a lot of guys stepped up and made plays, and um, you know, it was a good team win. Yeah, this is not an easy test on the road against a team with this quality, this speed, this skill. Uh, what was the focus for you guys tonight uh, in this matchup? Yeah, I think just um, you know, trying to play below their goal line, trying to not turn the puck over. Obviously, they got a lot of speed and skill, and um, I thought we did a really good job the first period and got away from it a little bit in the second. Putting them on the power play—that's where they're comfortable. They're really skilled, but um, you know, we just tried to outwork them, outcompete them, and. Um, you know, play play in their zone, and you know we got some offense too this year, so it's a lot of fun. How much daylight was there on that game time? Cool. I don't even know. I even I just whacked it. Good play by Cools. I just thought I had some good looks all night, and I just keep shooting, and uh, you know, fortunate one went in. Nick, there's been a lot of talk since Australia about team chemistry and, and bonding. Did you feel that in the first game tonight compared to maybe previous season openers? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, you want to play for each other. Um, you know. We got a lot of returners and then some new faces that have really fit in well with us. Um, good guys, character guys, guys that have played a long time in the league. So uh, they fit right in, and you know you can tell the chatter in the locker room, bench. Uh, you know we're playing for each other, and guys were selling out, blocking shots, doing little things that may not be noticed, but uh, we notice them in the room. A lot of adversity tonight with the penalties. I guess to win a game this way really kind of gives momentum moving forward here for this group. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously we don't want to take seven penalties a night. We've been doing that for three preseason games and then now tonight especially against this team so we got to stay out of the box but um, you know we found a way we dug deep and um, you know that's what good teams do. Uh, Andre Tyson was just saying this was a character test of your team passed with, with flying colors do you agree? Yeah I agree I, I think we we all know where we were on the road last year what happened on the road I, we were just joking with Joe Madden, but it's our first comeback win on the road in two years. So, you know, that's, uh, that is a, uh, 
I think we did a lot of good thing, and like I said, we had a great training camp, and we play again an elite team tonight, so we wanted to prove ourselves we can play at that level. Can we go all the way back and reconstruct this and tell me about the first period? I think the guys were ready. Yeah. We had urgency, we had pace. Listen, if we want to be successful, we need to play at a pace where uh, we will disturb the timing of our opponent. So that is not easy. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of energy night in, night out. But that's that's what we have to do. And the guys were ready right from the beginning. They knew what to expect from Jersey. That it's a really good team who has really good offense. But we did a really good job to defend against them the way they, they attack. Uh, excellent first period. Excellent start of the second. Halfway through the second, we went with bunch of penalty, try to work in the entertainment business, put them back in the game. And then after we we, uh, we, we played better in the third, we played, we did a lot of good stuff. They, like I said, they're a good team, so it's not about you will roll them over, but we played good in the third. We forced them to, to, to take some penalty, power play, uh, did a really good job, and we, we sealed the deal in overtime. He was confident this morning. You were confident in him this morning, but did Logan Cooley even exceed what you thought? No, he was. Uh, he, uh, he, he has. We believe in him. We know. We know what he can do, and you will see him all the time as a, as a rookie. Us, we see him as a player for us. So for us, he's he's a member of our team. He's an important guy in our team, and he will grow every game. We'll learn a few things here and there. Uh, t today, I'm sure he learned a few things. We'll have that discussion tomorrow. There's a few things he can be better at, and we will focus on what we can control, not the result, but more the performance. Excellent. I wanted to ask you about another player, Nick Schmaltz. What did you see from him? He was excellent, especially in the third period. He was uh, above. He reloaded quickly. He won battle. You know, his goal in the power play, it's him. It, all him. Yeah. He, whatever, what happened after. That loose puck battle, he won at the blue line, cutting the ends of his opponent, winning that loose puck and giving the puck to Jersey. We kept the puck in, and after we made a series of good play. Okay, that's great. That's highlight. But that doesn't happen if he doesn't recover that puck. Our first goal in the power play, exactly the same. Two or three loose puck, and emanates recovered those loose puck, won those battle, and allowed us to take that shot where we score. That That's the highlight, but the, the real play are those loose puck recovery. I know it's just one game. Was that part of a, maybe an evolution in his game or what you need to see from him? Well, I like I like Schmolzi. I know yeah. what he can do. It's, just, it's not every night it will go that way and he will make that number of points. But I think our guys, they have uh, an enthusiasm towards the season. They have an energy towards the season and we have to go one day at a time. We did it today. Well, now it's the battle is to do it again against the Rangers. It's not about what will happen in a week from now. It's about doing everything we can from that moment to the next game, which is Monday at MSG, to be ready. That's our only battle. Just one more from me. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it in practice, but you let off that shootout with Nick Bukestad. So uh, <laughs> is he your closer now? Or? Boy, yeah. Uh, that's that was, you know. Logan Cooley is pretty good as well in the shootout. So we had our three, and Kels was next, and Logan was was following. I told them on the bench. That's why I can tell you. I, I told them right from the get go. Boogie, you start. Schmaltz, you second. Kels, you third. And if four cools, you're you're there. I think they they've been really good in practice. We try a few things during training camp against LA and stuff like that, and we know what they can do. So, and I won't take credit on that. But the stats are there. We, we went on the website like you can do, and you, we looked at the numbers, and those are our top guys. Another guy who has good numbers is two out of three in the league is Kerfee. So Kerfee is, done, is somewhere in our list, but we have a few guys who can go there. You know, and I know Aids and Chelly and, and uh, Zucker, and those guys can, can, can be called upon at some point.